everyone. Thanks for watching Access Hockey MI, as always. Before we continue, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, subscribe, just so I don't forget to tell you, and then it, it just gets weird, and I, we laugh a lot, and then you're confused. <laughs> Everyone's like now. <laughs> um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe for all the hockey content about Grand Rapids and Detroit um, that you could ever desire and wish for mm -hmm. ever, forever, and ever. Mm -hmm. um, today, we're going to continue our prospect discussions because we love them. Mm -hmm. And today, we're going to talk about Simon Edvinson because we've been able to watch him. We, we didn't want to do these videos too soon. That's something that we don't like is when people make assumptions and assertions based on like three games and they're like pull him up now <laughs> he's ready and then fire everyone who won't pull him up yeah <laughs> so we don't it. like to do that so we want to give them and we've given them a lot of games now to and it's it's good too because he's changed a lot since the first game we've seen him in until now so we're gonna mm -hmm. talk about him today and let's get into it yeah so so far this season as of the recording of this video, as we always have to say, um, shockingly, it's not live. Um, <laughs> but for this season, he's had 37 games in Grand Rapids and has had 18 points. Just for your own frame of reference with Frolunda in 21-22, he had 19 points in 44 games. So he's on track and going to exceed what he was doing over in the SHL. Uh, for Edvinson, the 37 games, he did have a little stint of injury in yeah. there. But it's really promising to see that kind of production. And one of the biggest things that we've noticed right out, like when we were discussing this in the first place, was that his focus has improved. Um, in the beginning of the season, he struggled mentally. Um, and go look at the website, accesshockeymi.com. Uh -huh. I, I wrote a little something about that. Um, but he struggled a lot with that, just really getting in the game and getting in the mode and trying to dis discipline his mind to where he wasn't feeling like he was letting himself down and he was really self-deprecating yeah. at first and that seems to be something that he's really ironed out and that has dramatically helped his game from night to night. Yeah and we actually drafted him in 2021 sixth overall so he was a high draft pick pretty recent considering in the I would say in the, the last few seasons we haven't had this many prospects at once to watch for the Red Wings um, so it's been a very exciting season as far as that goes just to see because even if the team is not doing the best which they aren't to be honest, they're not doing very well. We're probably going to have um, early summer. <laughs> yeah, um, it's still helpful to see these guys. You can still see them developing. So like Rachel says, this focus aspect, I think, trickles down into everything. But something that he's always had, and I think probably a main reason he was drafted, is his hockey IQ. He's very smart with his plays. His his playmaking and his decisions remind me a little bit of Moritz Sider, to where it's you might not see everything he does in a game, but you will always remember a play that he made mm -hmm. that you're like, that was a great play, mm -hmm. that was a turning point, that made this, this, and this happen. And he's very much like that. And that helped him um, kind of gain information on what he needed to improve. Coming from the SHL, the Swedish League, to the American Hockey League, he needed to get his physical presence down. And that's mm -hmm. something that we talked a little bit about with Johansson and just Swedes in general who don't <laughs> seem to be super... Physical. Yeah. And you go to this league and it's like they're on top of you. They're going to hit you. They don't care who you are. They don't care how big you are. You're going to get these tiny little guys taking the puck from you and you're going to get annoyed. So you're going to need to hit them. That's what you got to do. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Take them to the boards, get the puck, and that, that's him. what you do. But he's he's definitely gotten more physical. Mm -hmm. And that's just, like I said, taking people to the boards, getting mm -hmm. the puck possession back, making sure you're using your body in a way to keep possession of the puck. That's something that I've seen huge improvement mm -hmm. on just based on him being able to adapt and use the space because, you know, it's less space um, in the American League as it, than it is in Europe. Right. And like Janae was saying with the hockey IQ, that rolls into absolutely everything. So with that one thing that I've noticed at least is his stick control. With the bigger skaters, their sticks are ridiculous. They're like seven and a half <laughs> feet long. So you've got this massive reach, this massive stick stick and it's really easy. Which is to, an asset but also yes, can be a detriment. It's a blessing and a curse because then you have to really focus on where the heck that thing is going and I've seen it where he's almost taken off some guy's head. And then you get careless penalties exactly. and then your team's down. So he has gotten so much better with that and in the tight spaces it's very different in the SHL. They're not as close contact as we are over here so I think the opportunity for you know tight stick working is not always prevalent in those games whereas here it's very much a huge part of each game. I think he's play. gotten a lot better at keeping the puck close to him yeah. to, to minimize the space that other people have to take the puck away right. from him because he has such a big area he needs to work with because right. he's huge. He's a big guy. Another thing, um, I can be between the benches during games and I've noticed he's very vocal on the bench, which is nice. Just um, encouraging the team, yelling at the team, 
in an encouraging way. Sometimes, <laughs> sure. other ways, probably frustrated. Sometimes I don't know what he's saying, Swedish and all that stuff. Yeah. So it just sounds like a bah! Bah! So I'm sure it's something. But vocal, nonetheless. Yeah. You know, making sure his line knows when it's switching and, and his guy that he's replacing knows he's he's ready to replace him, that kind of stuff. I think that's good to keep. When the bench is in the game, I think it's easier for the whole team to feel like they're in it together instead of a bench that's just, you know, quiet. No yeah. one's saying anything. No yeah. one's doing anything. No one has any spunk or fire, which is something that we've been struggling with this year, I think, to consistently have. Right. And with all of this, so Janae had mentioned <clears throat> him adapting his space, using his room, all of his sticking and all that kind of stuff. What it really comes down to is that he's become a very trusted defenseman. He's playing in every situation, special teams specifically. We are very highly penalized right now. Um, our penalty and power play has... It's been struggling for the last couple seasons. But with that, it's provi- it's providing opportunities for these newer guys to come in and get more minutes because the other the old system wasn't working. So they're putting yeah. in these new guys, and he's really gained a lot of trust with the system and with the coaching staff. He's getting tons of minutes every single yeah. night, plus the special teams, which amps up all those minutes. And that I don't just, think they track in the AHL the minutes on don't. ice no. like they do in the NHL, but I, there's, I see them all the time. They don't broadcast it like they do all in the All the time. Like, yeah. So... <laughs> Every every shift, I feel yeah. like he's on the end. Which it goes to show to his stamina, and that yeah. goes in with the the trusting you, knowing he can keep up with the play for as long as he's going to need to be out there. So and getting his legs under him, making exactly. sure he can improve his skating because right. he is a bigger guy. He he's just a, he's got finesse as a he does. a bigger skater. Um, right. but of course you can always do better in that category. Yeah. So overall, you know, with Edvinson, he's he's shown tremendous process like progress this season. He's probably going to need another season, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. We're talking to camera. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a great camp in Detroit. It's like, hey, let's give him a shot. Just depending on what happens, the off season changes everything yeah, all seeing, the time. Yeah, but. and seeing like how he handles camp right. or how he handles the rest of the season. But I do think that the physicality being there is an important yeah. thing because we all know that Cider's the closest thing we can compare to as far as the the latest defenseman to be pulled that has stuck there. So <laughs> that I'm has not, been successful. Yeah, what I'm yeah. I'm not saying he's more at Cider. I'm not saying it's it's game for game at all. All I'm right. saying is that if you're looking at Moritz Sider, Moritz Sider does have the physicality part, or at least most of it, to at least stay in a game in the NHL. Right. Like, he, he he sticks up for himself, he defends himself, he defends his team, he's not afraid to hit, right. he's not afraid to get scrappy, and I think that if Edvinson can get a little more of that, because the NHL is a tough league like mm-hmm. that, like, you have to have that to get success yeah. I guess as a defense and I think his, in the league. his ongoing thing will be that mental adjustment from level to level yeah. so once he does I mean he'll need yeah. some time to kind of iron that out once he does get pulled and up I, yeah. but I think the team realizes and knows that about each of these prospects but, they know what makes him tick and not to just scooch away the production that he's had so far because right. I think we kind of we kind of said it pretty quick but that's not bad for a defenseman 18 points in 37 games yeah. played I mean he's on the ice a lot he's shown himself to be trustworthy um, so just recapping, he his focus is there. I think that just comes from having to adjust. We always talk about that from SHL to AHL. Mm-hmm. So that adjustment in itself, whole new country in itself, yeah. you know, like away from home. Yeah, away good. from <laughs> home, away from home, all that stuff. Yeah. So I think that in all those aspects, I think he's showing himself to be um, a good prospect mm-hmm. for the Red Wings, basically. Yeah. But yeah. I do agree. I think he will need a little more time. But then yeah. again. He could just, I mean, if he keeps improving at this rate and he doesn't get stagnant and he needs to right. go to a different league to fit his talent, then yeah, there's the NHL yeah. for you. All that to <laughs> say, we're actually pretty happy. You know, yeah. I, was, I, was a, I was a little skeptical, mostly because people practically worship these guys when they first come yeah. in. Like, oh, first rounder, you have to have some time to let things iron out whatever that looks like yeah. and I've so far I've been really impressed with how he's been able to handle this season yeah um, well and he's got competition of course we yes. still have guys in Europe who are trying to get a spot we still have guys on the team currently trying to get right. a spot we still have guys up there trying to keep spots so yeah. like <laughs> like there's always this mega competition I think right. it's only a good thing for you know young players like Edmondson mm-hmm. so all that to say, we are impressed with Edvinson so far. I look forward to seeing how much more he progresses um, coming to the end of the season. We are over halfway through, I think, now. Yep. So um, let us know in the comments if you've watched him. Thank you so much for watching our other videos. Uh, we know you like the prospect stuff as much yeah. as we do. So make sure you put in the comments it's what you think. It's more fun. It is more fun. It's just... <laughs> I just really enjoy it. News is lame. Prospects are fun. News is lame. <laughs> and I guess football is going on today. Yeah. On the day of recording, there is football happening. But yeah, I digress. Um, <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments what you think of Edmondson so far, if you're excited to see him play, and if there's anybody else you'd like us to cover mm-hmm. or talk about, we would be happy to do so. Thank you again so much for watching, and we will see you next time.